first time I did the enema, I saw parasites. Wow. From the first time I did my enema. Wow. And it's something that I continue to do and I will continue to do until the day I die. Hey you, hola, Davey, Wagwan, beautiful beings. Welcome to the Innerverses podcast, YouTube channel, wherever you're watching this. And welcome back if you're already part of the tribe. And you know, here is your holistic wellness oasis, empowering you to be at the center of your inner verse through the power of inner child healing, spiritual empowerment, and we do that through services, events, workshops, or the above. And if this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Patience, I'm a spiritual teacher, internal student, because who isn't? I'm a mindfulness guide and the goddess in chief here at the inner verses. So get ready, join the tribe, snuggle up, um, in this cozy corner of the inner verse. So today I'm really, really excited, we're talking all things parasites, enemas, and we'll even touch a little bit on colonics, plus answering some of the questions that you guys had based on the last video that I did about enemas. So I'll link that um, here as well. Before I introduce my first ever guest, as you can see to the left of me, if you're watching or you're listening to this, please make sure you subscribe, you follow, and leave a review. It really, really does go a long way in helping the channel and in spreading this healing message wild and far. So I'm really, really excited for our first ever guests on the podcast on the channel for me she's one of my favorite people and she's a testament to it's never too late to heal yourself and really how to heal your body and she is my oracle of all things and knowledge on parasites enemas lonics my chosen godmother and the mama i adopted and it's mama k <laughs> So we've known each other now for 20 years since I've been 11. Yes. <laughs> so most of my life, which is incredible. And when I think of it, it's honestly gone so far and it's gone so fast. I don't think I remember a time where I didn't know you. No. And we met through <laughs> my best friend, so her daughter. Uh -huh. And we went to school together and we're basically family now. Like she's my sister and I remember even at school. Big rucksack on our first day of school and I was like, oh, there's the other black girl. And I just <laughs> Run to her, and ever since then, we've just been, been really Very close. Yeah, and so Mama K has been instrumental. You're like, like my daughter from another mother. You're my mama too. I love, <laughs> I love you so much. And she has from like softball, from school, sleepovers, period, period like everything. <laughs> And she's always, always been there, and I really, really appreciate oh, you. And she continues you. to be forever, forever, and I love it. And we're in that phase where it's a mother relationship and also a friendship that I yes. love that we're cultivating together. And for enemas and colonics, for me to even get onto it, it's healing your body, it's all been her. So I'm really, really excited for her to share her story of how she is healing herself. The journey that she's been on, especially the last year or two, has yeah. been amazing and inspirational. And so so without any further ado, I will hand over to Mama Kay to introduce you. yourself right. and let us know a bit of your story and okay. your healing journey. Well, I am 55 years old. I looked after myself most of my life, but I've always had problems with my gut and I kind of sensed from a child I had parasites. I used to say it to my mother. I used to have stool tests with the doctors, but nothing ever became of it. So my aunt, my lovely aunt Duds, always taught me to be my own doctor. One time I just went on YouTube, found the Gerson therapy, researched quite a few doctors and herbalists who recommended doing colonics or enemas. So I decided to take the plunge, be the guinea pig and do the enemas and from the first time I did the enema I was truly amazed with what came out of me the stench the amount it was just unbelievable I was so elated by the feeling afterwards that I had to ring my daughter to tell her <laughs> You've just got to do this because it is truly an awesome feeling. Every cell in my body was rejuvenated. I felt that even my eyes, I could see in HD. Everything was just visually clear. I felt spiritually lifted. I just felt an unbelievable feeling that I could not explain, but I needed to let other people know the enema is brilliant. So that's really my journey. First time I did the enema, I saw parasites. Wow. from the first time I did my enema wow. and it's something that I continue to do and I will continue to do till the day I die. Wow. 
is incredible because and even yeah. throughout the journey she would show me also the pictures videos I've documented like, everything document. honestly it's one of those things that I, it's hard to believe until you see it as you're seeing the videos you might still be like wait but how because you know when you're looking at her and you say she's so petite I'm, I'm size zero yeah and uh, so healthy like I've she, had a flat stomach all my life and Never you had eat well eating yeah. well mm -hmm. exercise. I exercise and so when all of this was coming out it was just <laughs> it absolutely shocked me till I had to scoop things out I know it might sound gross but mm. you cannot know what's inside of you unless you're willing to dissect yeah. so I was happy to do to dissect it's me it's from me it's real once I started to see things I fished them out took photographs of each parasite mm. sometimes in mass it was unbelievable and I had to take photographs to then share it with a few people who could not believe that mm. that has come out of me being yeah. so small yeah so it's not like I'm a big person but I feel them inside of me I can hear them scream if I press down on certain parts of my colon yeah. I hear them scream then I feel them shift to the other side I feel it again there's been times I've done enemas I can hear them scream screaming screeching because they're not happy and then a big foot long parasite with a big fat head would come out of me it's actually yeah i feel like every time you tell me that and when i've seen the videos you and the pictures it's just incredible because exactly like you described them some of them have heads some mm -hmm. of them all like different shapes and some of them are fatter some are fatter mm -hmm. yeah and i think you had like it was like a silk yes i had a silk sheet type of thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just to know that all of that has been inside you for however long and i remember when i saw that i was like right okay mama okay what what do I need to do? Where's the end? <laughs> Get me onto this and and thank you as well for going on your journey and being the guinea pig yeah. because it was, it was then easier because she gone through all the all the, the pitfalls. mistakes, the pitfalls and everything, and she was like, okay, patience, yeah. like this is what you this do. is what you do, Lay this your is nest. how you do it, yeah, like even laying the nest and even making it as part of like your self care yes. and meditation, yeah. all of that. I got mm -hmm. all of that from her. So when I started to see and really like be intentional about looking like she was saying dissecting for parasites it wasn't such a like what the <laughs> what is in me because I'd seen it and if anything it was actually more a welcome of like oh okay I'm mm -hmm. glad yeah, this is so once they come out of you yeah. you actually do feel much much better and a lot of the times you can see them even more so now I see them wrapped around the stool mm -hmm. and that's something that we were speaking about yeah. of like they nest their home is basically within the colon within the stool so yes. they kind of hide yeah I, I, I've worked out how they're created I can see yeah. them nesting and you can see it looks like a baby in a, in a part of the stool with the yeah. tail all of that and I've proven for me the first one I was like mom okay this looks like an alien <laughs> definitely <laughs> it's got like a little it's like you said like a sack loads of like little tendons or yeah. like babies within it and it's just yeah it's wild but the experience has been uh, amazing and it's been uh, nearly two years that yeah. I've been on this cleanse. They're, they're actually fading so much now, but yeah. I got masses out. Oh. In the first two weeks of doing the enema, I lost seven pounds because the thickness of all this, these parasites came out of me. That I saved them in a jar and I almost filled a litre jar of parasites. And when you put them in the jars, they almost like come alive, don't they, when you put them in water? Yeah, yeah they transform. What they look like without water is yeah. totally different to when you put them in a jar, they swell out. Guys, everyone, we all have parasites. First of all, if you're watching this and you're thinking, what is parasites we're gonna get into that in a moment because mm -hmm. we're going to like a Q&A some of you send across questions and with parasites every single person has them knowingly or unknowingly you have parasites because they're in our food but vegetables if you eat meat they're fish fish because we eat what they eat mm -hmm. so it's just part of the life cycle but a lot of illnesses and a lot of intolerances allergies a lot of those things and even it's been associated and connected with like cancerous mm -hmm. diseases are because of parasites and unclean gut and so that's why it's really really important not only to be aware of parasites but also to cleanse your body and understand how your body even works and being in tune with your body and I liked what you were saying Mama Kate before 
off. You were so in tune, you could actually hear yep. the screams that you could, you felt intuitively, which was your body communicating with you, like there's actually something wrong. Mm -hmm. And is there somewhere over the last like few months where you've noticed like a difference, whether it's in your skin? Yeah, it's... my skin is better. Yeah. My nails are much longer and stronger. Mm. I feel energized. Lost a little bit of weight, but it's weight that I feel much stronger when right. I'm doing yoga. Yeah. I can pose much longer. My balance, my focus, That's... clarity. Yeah. Work is no longer complex. It's actually quite easy. That's... Anything challenging, I just master it. I've yeah. become spiritually grounded. As a whole, I cannot explain yeah. how good the enemas are. All I would say is everybody must try it. And this yeah. for me is a ritual that I do, whether weekly, daily, it's something that I know for me, yeah. I need to do. And yeah. if I can pass this on to the younger generation, because I'm only I've been only learning sort of at 53, but if mm. I can help you help heal your body well before you get to 55, because menopause, I've gone through menopause, no problems. No hot flushes, no weight gain, yeah. no moodiness. None of the things that most women go through, I have gone through none. And you've never seen me what sweat. Was that? No. Never seen me sweat. <laughs> never. No, I haven't. Well, like mood swings. Yeah, no, not at all. Yeah. I'm just very balanced, very careful with my diet and everything yeah. I consume. Yeah people around me yes and that's one thing that I'm always been conscious of yeah. even my daughter from a child anybody negative any negative energy not around me and not around my child so yeah. that also is a is a help yeah which is incredible because yeah mama k is talking about not only your internal parasites but external as well mm -hmm. not to call people parasites yes, but some but some people behave yeah that way, like a know? parasite like a yeah, parasite yeah. they're, they're sucking the life out of you yeah mm. and it's like, so you have to be very very intentional of who you surround yourself with and also what you're eating what basically what yeah. you're consuming whether that's food people your environment in general all of it like, like i always say it's your mind your body your spirit they're all in one all in to Connected. all interconnected you are a full system so if you've got parasites in your belly in your colon in your stomach you can best believe that you've got parasites or they're affecting your mind mm -hmm. and how your brain works which yeah. is why mama k was saying she felt a lot more clearer like work yeah. wasn't as complex but not energized because you're removing what's toxicity, toxicity and what's taking away that energy because mm -hmm. they're feeding off something they're feeding mm -hmm. off you and so if you can and get also taking them, the nutrients from you from your yeah. food they're taking it yeah yeah because i remember you've always said ever since we we're young like you eat yeah. for survival in yeah, a way like you really enjoy i, have to. I yeah. just knew i can't kind of said to my mother as a child that i felt as though i was eating yeah. but whatever because i had a very low appetite yeah. but whatever i'm eating something's eating the food first and then leaving me whatever's left which is why I was always anemic. And I wasn't an unwell child, but I was always anemic. Yeah. And I lived on iron tablets from the age of maybe five up mm. until maybe early, late 20s, 30s. Always had um, iron deficiencies. And one of the things that parasites do is they take that food. Yeah. And therefore I'm not getting the nutrients that I need mm. to survive. So you're always deficient. Always it's deficient. Really, yeah. yeah. So it was a constant cycle, topping up with iron tablets, but it's making no difference because parasites are consuming my food and when you've seen how much parasites have come out of me yeah. which is thousands honestly thousands like and re remember some of them have been dead deceased inside of me yeah. possibly for years just living inside of me yeah wow and it's so powerful with that as well because it's a mamacation lives on juices which is why i was like sipping <laughs> on this juice that she made us my which juice. is incredible So it's about relaxation yeah, and it's breathing key. through the cramps yeah. and yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's about breathing through it. Yeah. And I've learned to count to 10 seconds, hold it and then ex exhale. Yeah. And that seems to let it pass. I might get another one maybe in a minute's time. I just keep doing it yeah. until I get to sort of the 10 minute mark and then and then you let it go. Yeah, it's yeah. as though it's loosened what it can within that, within where the water has gone within your colon. Yes, it can't go yes. any further if it's blocked, but, but yes, it's gone yeah. down as far as it can, yeah. ready for it to be flushed out. Yeah. And sometimes even working through that, when you feel like you've got, sometimes you can still hold it, just breathe, just keep yeah. the breath. Yeah. You almost kind of, it's a mental. You're in a zone. You're, yeah. you're at, like, you're like not in this world. When yeah. I'm in my little bathroom, I, it's as though I'm away from the world. Yeah. 
because you are in your yeah. retreating I've with been him. elevated to somewhere else yeah just for that half an hour oh. but when i'm ready to go it's, you know it's the same feeling when you need when you say have diarrhea and you feel i've got to go yeah so it's like mama k is saying it's connecting to the breath and you will soon be able to differentiate for you what is a gas and what is like no okay mm -hmm. it's time to flush yeah. mm -hmm. flush out completely and that's something also to be aware of because it might take you a little while to build up to even like 10 minutes yeah is even if you hold it in for a minute or two yeah. it's still, still better than it's still better than not mm -hmm. because water is going in as soon as it starts going in already starts working mm -hmm. and then you'll be surprised how much comes Quick. out mm -hmm. just short. by doing a short one I started off doing them every morning, which yeah. they are brilliant every morning, especially a great start to the day, especially after your first, after your bowel movement, that's mm. always ideal. From that point of view, it is very, very beneficial because you feel lifted, you you can face the day, you can challenge any challenges yeah. you, can, you can work through. Sometimes, like I said to you, if I hear a voice tell me I can do an enema that same day, when I do it, even sometimes in my lunch break, because I work from home, I do it and a large parasite will come out of me. What my inner do? voices was telling me to, to, yeah. to expel and I did it and it worked. Yeah. But what I find now for me is to do them at night. I do yes. them around nine o'clock at night. The reason being is what I've kind of worked out with my, and it's my situation, yeah. is that parasites, I was thinking if the par if I've eaten my main meal, say at six o'clock, mm. and I'm not eating again for the rest of the day, parasites have got from six all the way till eight o'clock yeah. to sit and fester in that mm -hmm. in my stool. Yeah. And peripherates and have a party, party. <laughs> in my stool yeah so i kind of thought to myself if i get rid of the stool before i go to bed then my colon is clear or as mm. clear as it can be so therefore the parasites have got nothing to fester on there's no party going on in the middle of the night i am caffeine sensitive so it probably would be more of like a chamomile one or maybe even just a plain water mm -hmm one as well, just something, because my body likes the car, it prefers a calming um, sensation and energy, and especially before sleeping, because if I did the coffee one, I would be bouncing yeah. off the walls. Yeah. <laughs> so, so again, it's so working, it's just with working with yourself, yeah, working with your, with your body, and almost like a process of elimination. And actually at night, that's when your body is doing it's most work on detoxifying. Yeah, the liver. The liver and doing Everything all of is it. Working. I tend to go two hours, sometimes three hours. So if I've right. had my last meal at six, right. I will do an enema after nine o'clock. Right, okay. So I feel, yeah. and sometimes I'll see, you know, say, suppose I've had mushrooms or sweet corn, yeah. I will see it at that time. So that right. shows it's actually it's gone, through, it's yeah. gone through my system. Right. So I would never just eat and then think, oh, do a coffee enema straight away, because that's yeah. not going to work. And I also, I want to gather some of the nutrients, but all, all the nutrients yeah. from my food. Because once it goes into the colon, it wants to get rid of it. It's exactly. It's already processed yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was before having a colonic was the fear of like of infection. People would be like, oh no, you get infections, don't do it. Mm -hmm. What was amazing in having you again, being the guinea pig, mm -hmm. <laughs> do it all first was learning, first of all, what causes the infections and how to deal with them. Mm -hmm. And so it'd be good too for you to like, shed light mm -hmm. on how enemas and colonics, especially aftercare, mm -hmm. once you've done your colonic, how that kind of works well to get rid Yeah, of. I mean, the one thing I do after my enemas, I always take a probiotic. That's just what I do. And yeah. also I do my green juices. So yes. I'll always have my green juices. Yeah. What I'm kind of doing is putting really good nutrients back into the body. Because you've cleansed. Yeah. yeah, not leaving it naked. I'm going to yeah. nourish, re nourish my stomach and my colon again. Again, cleaning your products, just make sure that you wash them out, clean them, uh, leave them to dry out so that they don't, they, they don't fester with stale coffee or anything like yeah. that.
yeah. that. Just keeping yeah. your tools clean, like you would your own kitchen and your own bathroom. And I've been doing this for two years now, no problems, no infections, nothing. When I had, and I think you had something similar, my very first clonic, a couple of days after, I didn't feel well mm -hmm. enough. Like I kind of, I just didn't feel like myself. And then because you had gone through it a little bit, mm -hmm. you then explained to me, you're like, actually, and Janet explained who's our hydro, um, colonic hydrotherapist she explained when you get your colonic remember your colon is six feet long so your enema will cleanse like the end the tip almost like the end of your colon whereas your colonic goes a lot further it's more like a deeper clean and as you're cleansing that some of the toxins that have been in your store over in your colon some of them will may seep into your bloodstream and that can cause you to maybe you have like headaches or feel uncomfortable nauseous. or feel nauseous mm -hmm. or just not feel like yourself and there's actually nothing to be scared about mm -hmm. because the best thing to do is cleanse them it could be even like a healing crisis. And so if you have a colonic is I'd always say schedule or line up having an enema, whether it's the day after, a couple of days after, that what gets rid of any toxins. So it's not really an infection, I suppose. No, it's just no. toxins that have been maybe seeped through as part of you getting your mm -hmm. actual release, um, but you can get rid of them and purify your blood. And remember, um, parasites are used to living in filth. Yes. The colon is, can be filthy. filthy. What yeah. you've done is cleaned it out. And uh, as I say, if they disturb some nests or some pockets that colonic hasn't formed, Fully pulled out that's yeah. going to sit there and create toxicity which yeah. goes into your blood which which affects the body which is why yeah. you start to feel ill but the moment you flush that out mm -hmm. you'll feel elevated and, and rejuvenated best. again yeah but enemas are honestly i can't speak enough of them <laughs> It's one of my favorite healing healing tools and it's a lifestyle as it's, well. Like it's, it's, to it's the a, till the day I die, I yeah. will continue to do this. And Charlotte Gerson, which is Max Gerson's um, daughter from yeah. the Gerson Therapy, she did enemas every day. She lived to, well into her nineties. Wow. And she never went to the doctors, never had yeah. medical insurance, she never wore glasses. That is incredible. And a lot of communities, because when I think of like Zimbabwe and I think you're even saying like Jamaicans, Jamaicans yeah, a lot of cleansing. cleansing yeah like African communities Caribbean um even some in like um Asia they do natural cleanses because they know I think in Jamaica it's called the a washout washout, washout mm -hmm. yeah whether it's you have like every season with lemon every season like they knew that they were present and they knew how to take care of them mm -hmm. and that's basically now what we're getting back mm -hmm. to and yeah. what we're nurturing ourselves mm -hmm. with we just have more sophisticated tools to yeah, definitely <laughs> to use but actually the whole principle is is going back to natural living mm -hmm. and like you said your home is should be medicine yeah. should be a healing home mm -hmm. you should have things in your kitchen things around you that if you're ill you can just straight away mm -hmm. know what to do and and heal yourself and enemas are also good if because whenever I've had a cold, I felt a bit yeah. like fluey, yeah. enema, and straight away it just... You feel much, much better. Yeah. yeah. So it's been an incredible journey. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Mama Kay, for yeah. helping kickstart my journey mm -hmm. that way as well. And for being a trailblazer, an inspiration, um, a healer, a coach, a mother, a friend, all of the mm -hmm. above, and just an amazing, amazing person. Not only to share this journey, uh -huh. healing journey with, but just in life in general. Uh -huh. Thank you for being oh, my first thank ever you, guest. Thank you, thank you. Like, oh, thank you. That was great. And if you enjoyed that, let us know what you thought of that. Let us know in the comments and maybe things that you do as well. Any tips that you have and maybe you like your grandparents and your culture, you've done this as well. Let us know. We would love, love to hear from you. And also, if you've got any further questions, again, put them all in the comments. So I hope you found value from that. And as always, keep putting yourself first healing you from the inside and out and being curious curious about you how you are who you are and how you want to be because the power of healing in all aspects mind body and spirit is within your hands you have the power to heal yourself it's just a choice 
of whether you exercise that and how you exercise that and when you exercise that um but that's it for this episode and we'll see you soon and take care everyone bye Bye. happy animals happy animals (laughs) yeah